I think each service is as important as the other. I admire soldiers, foot sloggers if you like. I admire the work they do. The Navy, we couldn't have done without. The Air Force, of course, I'm a bit of a, an Air Force man. And then, of course, when we got on the Mariposa, it wasn't only saying goodbye to Melbourne. I had a, a brother in the army, two sisters and a mother. One of the things, most vivid things that I can remember, sitting out on the back of the Mariposa watching the lights of Melbourne disappear. And, well, we're going to ever get home again. And we get this message that this Jap sub is lying in wait for us. It wasn't... Uh, very acceptable <laughs> news when you when you're a few hours out to sea. We went over on the Queen Mary and uh, we struck a, a Pacific and an Atlantic storm. My initials should be carved on one of the doors, but they probably replaced that. We had 15 days leave in America on our way over, and then when we got to Scotland, we uh, naffy picked us up there and we were going to a private billet. Oh, we were blown out of bed a few times. Wikesy and I, we slept on the floor there for a while because we, were, we didn't have any further to fall. The buzz bombs were, uh, the Germans had them and they made us cut out. You could hear them, they made a hell of a lot of noise. And when the motors cut out, they could dive straight down or they could go on for 20 or 30 k's and drop. And of course you'd, you'd hear one coming, you'd hear the motor cut out and you're just standing there waiting to see whether it was going to drop there or up the street a bit, you know. So they were sort of terrifying things. So. Over there, you know, they had the PFF pathfinders and they used to drop their flares and we used to bomb their flares. And they were pretty accurate, very accurate, actually. But it was always in the back of my mind that next door probably to, say, Crub Factory, there could be a, an apartment house or something with people with kids. I used to feel sorry and think and then it used to always be in the back of my mind that I got a, a mother and two sisters at home. If I'm not over here doing what I'm doing, they're going to be over there doing the same thing to my mother and my sisters. And that was the sort of incentive that keeps you going. There were times I, you, you felt you, you can't explain it, really. Unless you saw a lot of these things yourself, uh, you, you just couldn't believe that some of the things that did, did actually happen. The tail gunners, in so many cases, they were shot up that badly that they couldn't get the bodies out of the aircraft and they used to have to wash them out with a fire hose. It was, uh, it was a crying shame. When I first came home, I, uh, I couldn't stand aircraft. I was just about going to a trance if I saw one. And I'm still, I want to get over and see this bloke over in Perth, but I'm, I like my feet on the ground. Quite a few years back, we used to have a Anzac Eve reunion. That's when the boys used to open up and uh, tell their tales. And Anzac Day to me then was a very sad day. Well, there's a lot more like me, I suppose, that 
don't like talking about experiences because they're too too sickening uh, things that I've seen the people not know about best forgotten <laughs>